Now, summertime means baseball, but it's also a time for parents to be careful. That's right. Injuries among Little League baseball players are on the rise. Melanie Posey checks it out. It's a sound normally associated with summer, but more and more kids are playing baseball all year round, and that overusage of muscles is causing more injuries among Little Leaguers. Dr. Jeffrey Dugas with Andrews Sports Medicine is seeing it firsthand. Most of the injuries that we see happen because of fatigue. So they've done too much, they've thrown too much, they've lifted too much, whatever it is, and they're throwing when their arms are fatigued. And that's a recipe for disaster. The most dangerous activity for a young person is pitching, Dugas says. With kids starting as young as eight or nine, throwing curveballs and sliders, it can cause them to tear muscles in areas where they aren't fully developed yet, like the elbow. Dugas says when he started at Andrews in 1999, he saw about 20 to 25 percent of high school students getting the famous Tommy John surgery. Nowadays, we're seeing about 60 percent of our Tommy John surgery is done in high school age kids. And so it's gotten worse over time. Dukas says there are ways to stop the injuries. First, do not allow your young person to pitch all year round. Don't allow them to play on more than one team during a season. And keep in mind, the goal of playing is to have fun. It's more important to learn how to play the game properly. And don't get too caught up in competition when you're 12. You want to make sure you can keep playing. Melanie Posey, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.